Alrighty, welcome to the first BRT Saturday video. Right, Molly? Right? Oh, jeez, you don't have to attack them. I know you haven't seen them in a while. Yep, she's getting big. Uh, I know, I know. You want out, you want out, you want out. Okay, so... Part of this video will be done from my basement at home because we're at the house. But we're going to be doing this. Uh, it's a Q&A type thing for our first video. But one of the things... Oh, come on, dog, get out of the way. Uh, let's turn this on here real quick. Put you guys down like so. Just want to get it. Here it is. I got asked. Uh, and there's important stuff coming later on. Uh, for my internet. Now, I'm in Canada, so this is only good for in Canada. So for you Canadians, the Rogers LTE Rocket Stick. Okay? Just USB plug-in. There's a cord that comes with it. Plugs into the back computer. I've showed this before, but some people have asked. Now, for you guys in the U.S., the comparable one would be, and I have 10 gigabytes a month on here. Uh, it cost me like 50 bucks a month, but it's I got a special plan. It's normally like you get 5 gigs for 50 bucks. Verizon in the U.S. is the exact same thing as that. What are you doing? Okay, there, you can come up now, okay? Um, it's a little bit more expensive. But guys, let's face it, if you want internet wherever you are, that's what you're going to have to do. Now, there are some phone plans where you can tether wirelessly or whatever, it doesn't matter. You can use the data off your phone, depending on what you're doing. Be very, very careful with this. There are unlimited plans out there that aren't truly unlimited. After 2 gigabytes, they knock you down to like the slowest freaking internet speed possible. So be very careful when doing it through your phone and what kind of plan you have and, and, and the way it's going to work. Uh, but that's the best way to get portable internet, other than the truck stop Wi-Fi's, which can be unreliable, depending on what it is you're doing. Some cases, it's just fine. Uh, I I used to use the truck stop Wi-Fi all the time down in the U.S., and I paid like 20 bucks a month for Flying J Pilot, which was fine. I also paid the other 20 bucks a month for uh, Petro uh, TA. And so it was 40 bucks a month and I had uh, Wi-Fi for four different truck stops that I could stop at any time. Sometimes you may end up, because if you're too far away from the truck stops, you may have to bring your laptop inside and do it there. But whatever. Okay, so that's the Wi-Fi question answered. There you go. The other question was, uh, and this came from a UK uh, viewer. Why is my thing all bent out of shape here? Whatever, okay. And I don't have the name in. So we're going to finish this portion of the video up down in my basement uh, by the computer. Uh, and it's in regards to the foreign worker program. Now I'm going to do a completely separate video on Celadon and going to work for Celadon and whatnot. But just for this particular one, Celadon does have a foreign worker program, okay? It is based out of our Saskatoon terminal which is the old Yankee terminal and then since Celadon bought Yankee they took that over and they took over the foreign worker program too because it was Yankee that actually had the foreign worker program so it's for Western Canada uh, you'll drive all over the place but yes they do so not to sound too stupid because I can't remember the woman's name it is on my email and I can't access it from my phone right now because it's too many days ago but I did get the information where I got her email address her name her phone number etc so I will put that in the video like now look look beside me i don't know which side it's going to be on but it's going to be right here like or well it's somewhere here it might be over here i don't know it's going to be somewhere maybe it's over here i don't know but it's somewhere also look down in the description down below and like just pause the video and go down to the video description down below down no down, down no don't look at down just go below the video square box there's a thing that says description. That's where it'll be, okay? You're going to have to probably click the show more button so you can see all the stuff that's there. And What are you doing? You're doing something you're not supposed to be doing. Yeah, don't act innocent with me, kiddo. All right, okay. as you can tell, Molly is definitely getting bigger. She's a good girl, crazy girl. Hey, that's my socks. Why are you attacking my socks? You're a funny girl. Not funny girl. Not so funny girl. Yes, you are. Okay, so on to the next question, which is 
and it involves Molly. So now go figure that I'm showing Molly. She is a Cocker Spaniel Pomeranian. That's what you are, right? Tell them. No, tell them. No, that's biting me. That's not telling them. That's my sock. What you telling me that I need to put... Are you saying my feet stink? Are you saying my feet stink? And that's why you want me to put on fresh socks? Is that what it is? No, I know why. Because she wants me to hide my frou-frou feet. Look at my... I still got my frou-frou feet. From my manly pedicure that I went with Jess like a month ago. <laughs> These women. What's up with that, women? You people buy new nail polish all the time. I've had this on my feet now for four weeks. And it still looks good. I look pretty. And you women put new nail polish on every week. Well, look at that, huh? So, anyways, back to Molly. So, anyways, she's not going to get too much bigger. A little bit bigger than this still. She is three and a half months old. So, and she's been very good in the truck. Like I said, she's a Cocker Spaniel Pomeranian because I know a couple people have still been asking. Also, next thing. People have been asking. Oh, look. Here's trouble. So, All right. Anyway, so okay. before we were so rudely interrupted, finish this off. Uh, yeah, so I've been, someone has been saying, oh, you haven't been, how come you're not doing any more videos and blah, blah, blah. Where are the vlogs? Why the blah? Still doing the vlogs, guys. Every single day we're doing the vlogs. They're on my other channel. Now some people say, oh, why'd you move them? Blah, blah, blah. There's a couple reasons, and I don't really want to get into too much detail. But I wanted my personal channel moving again. And the videos are mostly about Molly, even though it's still about life in the truck. But it's mostly about Molly. It's not trucking related 100%. And so it's... Uh, and I wanted to move that portion of the videos away from the network. Uh, so, but at any rate, yeah, so... That link is down below also, guys. Okay? And yes, Molly has her own Facebook page. So, anyway. So, if you want to watch the daily vlogs, just go to the other channel. The link's down below. It says, other channel. All right. 